everybody welcome back we got the 151 case of mini tins right here all right a couple days late on the release but that's all good we're gonna crack this thing open let me set the camera up beautiful i'll be back all right we are on wrap so last time we did mini tins i think i think it was i want to say crown zenith and they only had five different artworks and they doubled up this time they have 10 different artworks, which is crazy, right? Electabuzz, we got Gengar here, Dragonite, Slowpoke, Machamp, Magneton, Cypher, Growlithe, Meowth, and Alakazam, and Hitmoli in the background right there. So this is different. I always thought it was gonna be five. I was gonna open five of them, but now I kinda wanna open all of them. Let's start off with five and then if uh if it goes really well we'll open the rest or if it doesn't go well right see hit mode all right so we are really unboxed now i finally figured out what's going on all right so each one is going to come with its own little picture thing right here all right of each pokemon like i showed you before stats on the back and now electabuzz is going to come with a lightning energy right gengar is going to have a dark you know dragonite with the dragon uh, Meowth, right, colorless, and Psychic for Alakazam. So it corresponds with the kind of tin you get. So if you're looking for, you know, for instance, Psychic, go with the Alakazam and you'll be able to get that, all right? But let's put this aside. We got a nice little Pokemon battle right here. Let me move this guy. All right, Electabuzz is up first. Two packs each. Let's go. So these came out, uh, I want to say October 6th. It's a couple days after that. So these are out on the streets and we get Psychic Hollow. Let's go to start off. We're gonna count that as a hit. So yeah, 10 bucks a pop. I think I got, uh, I think I might've got this for a hundred dollars, the whole thing. Wow, straight off the bat, Giovanni's Charisma. Let's go, so double hit pretty much. Damn, special illustration rare. Not the craziest one, but. I definitely will take that. Man, what luck is that for the first pack? Uh, yeah, so 10 bucks a pop. All right, the, the, maybe you can get the whole case for a little bit uh, cheaper. Maybe around 90 bucks if you're lucky. Uh, I'm not sure how much I paid. My OGS usually hooks me up, but I'd be lying if I said I remember. Let's do this second pack, baby. Let's see if we can get something sweet. Kangler in the reverse. And a War Tortle, which, oh man, I'm so happy about this. And a Jinx, what? Damn. These things are hit in already, bro. Wow. Electabuzz coming out strong, bro. I have, uh, I'm trying, I think I have three Blastoids, so I'm trying to, like, get the full evolution. That might have done it for me. That might be my third War Turtle, so. Unbelievable. Can Alakazam even compete with that? I don't know, man. This is uh, going pretty good. <laughs> so yeah, $100 for the case. I can't even get what I want to say out. Too many too many things going on. So, you know, Magikarp, Charmeleon, and a Vaporeon. It's going to come out to $5 a pack, which is pretty good for Crown Zenith, if you know. The Booster Bundle 6-pack uh, bundles or whatever, they're just grossly expensive. So this is a really good bang for your buck. This and the $15 poster collection, right? You're going to pay around $5 a pack for those, too. So, Primeape, Krabby in the reverse. And Alakazam gets the Alakazam. So, I'll definitely take that. That's definitely going to take second to my boy, Electabuzz. But, uh, not bad, not bad. Meowth is next. Featuring Hitmoli in the background. As we get another Psychic Energy Hollow. Not bad. Put that right there. All right, Sheldler. Man, 151. So nostalgic with all these old school Pokemon, man. First, Cloyster, Nidoran, and Jolteon. First 151 Pokemon, man. Just so many good memories. And this set, I definitely think. I'm getting, I'm, I'm not over it, but I'm definitely satisfied. I've opened enough. But uh, I think this set is going to do well long term. Just because who doesn't love their original Pokemon, you know? 
as we get a coughing in the reverse, Kabuto and a Mr. Mime. So Meowth is striking out or struck out, I should say. And we're gonna go right to Dragonite. Boom, let's see. Let's see what Dragonite can do. Fan favorite Pokemon, definitely. I think they're all fan favorites at this point, you know, whenever you're dealing with the original Pokemon. As we get a Caterpie, Scyther, and a Vaporeon, regular hollow. So, womp womp. Let's see. Come on, Dragonite. Hook us up with something sweet. Bam. Yeah. See, when it comes to these, I think, you know, I think there's a certain amount of hits in every product case. So, you know, you're not going to get five special illustrations as we get a Vile Plume in the back. Right, that thing's loaded, but it usually evens out. Usually, sometimes you just get extremely lucky. Uh, but whenever you get a sealed product, a case of stuff, it, it usually evens itself out. I found. Maybe you, you know, you're different, but that's why you take a chance when you have different products open. You might get, you know, five different case hits with five different products, or you might strike out completely with it. Right, so. I enjoy like, opening a, a case because at least I'll get, you know, some hit. <laughs> I would hate to just buy these, like, Dragonite, and then, like, you're going to strike out and not get anything. So, But Gengar, last pack, I think Electabuzz definitely took this one and ran with it. So, uh, shout out to him. <laughs> he did good. He did good. As we get a Chansey, Grimer, and Mr. Mime. So Womp Womp, we were only able to get, wow, you know, it started off so strong with these four, and that was it, man. But we did get a special illustration with Giovanni's Charisma, which is pretty sweet. We got the War Total. I think I say that <laughs> funny. Uh, Alakazam and Jinx are going to round out our EXs, regular, and of course, two Hollow Energies, man. Thanks for checking me out. Uh, I'll see you on the next one.